And so this is a learning outcome for my introductory cell and molecular biology course, is that I want students to understand um, the molecular structure and function of cell membranes. So that's not something that I can ne necessarily measure. If I just say understand, that's very vague. But I have this learning objective that I want students to be able to predict the ability of a given molecule to travel through a membrane. So if I give them a molecule, then they don't know what the molecule is going to be. They need to determine whether or not it can get through that membrane. Now, in order to do that, they need to understand the structure and the function of the membrane. They need to understand the, or have a basic idea of the chemical characteristics of the compound I'm asking them to, um, to talk about. And, and so it becomes much more than just understand or just draw a picture and, and label because you can draw a picture and label, and that might be basic memorization, but do you really understand what you're drawing? And so I have an exam question. Um, I had the ability to do essay questions in the course. And so I would um, talk about, I would ask them, how might you change a drug to be able to get it to cross the membrane? What functional groups would you have to add to it? Then the activities involved many. So we, th there is textbook reading. I do give many lectures. Um, but there's homework assignments. There's in-class problem solving. There's looking at the, the primary literature and understanding how that's related to these concepts. And then I'm always asking, are these activities appropriate for what I'm going to ask them to do on the exam? And is what I'm asking them to do on the exams aligned with what I told them they're expected to know or be able to do.